James Kaufman, World News Report, today, September 11th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a 6.3 magnitude earthquake just southwest of Papua New Guinea. We have been seeing a lot of earthquakes in this immediate area, and it's due to two different reasons. First off, we have several plate boundaries that just come to an end and do not connect in this area. And secondly, this area is full of volcanoes and volcanic ridges, as you can see here. We will see a lot more of that after we jump over to volcanoes and earthquakes.com. Now, the USGS gave a default depth of 10 kilometers for this quake, which usually suggests that they were not able to determine the depth of the earthquake itself. All right, over to volcanoes and earthquakes.com, we can see that the 6 3 occurred right here. The official source is the USGS. Looks like the Europeans came in at 6.3 as well, also with a default depth of 10 kilometers. And the French came in at a 5.5. With that said, we can see that this is on a volcanic ridge. There's several in the area. And we've had a lot of large earthquakes here. They're associated with the unconnected plate boundaries and or the magma under these active volcanoes. Both of those elements are definitely in play in this immediate area. We have three volcanoes in that immediate area that are erupting currently. Heading over to Volcano Discovery, we see the quake here. And it's like it was about three hours ago. A 6.3, very strong magnitude, 6.3 earthquake. Bismarck C, and they have it uh, 146 kilometers southwest of Olu Island, Manus, Papua New Guinea. Let's get some additional information. Again, a confirmed 6.3 magnitude earthquake with a default depth of 10 kilometers. And our reporting source is the United States Geological Survey. 2.7 atomic bombs worth of energy were released with this earthquake. We're going to compare quake data, the same earthquake as reported by different agencies. Starting out with the USGS, default depth 10 kilometers, a 6.3. The Germans came in at a 6.0, default depth. Indonesia came in at 6.2 with 30 kilometers of depth. We had the French come in at a 5.5, always coming in low, and that was a default depth. We had the Europeans come in at a 6.3, following the USGS most probably, and the default depth of 10 kilometers. We have the Italians coming in at 6.2 with an actual depth of 8.6 kilometers. That points to magma moving under those active volcanoes. We have the International Research Institute on Seismology coming in at 6.3, default depth of 10 kilometers. They seem to follow the USGS in their information. Finally, Australia coming in at 6.3 as well with a default depth of 10 kilometers. A depth given as 10 kilometers often means that the depth of the quake could not be determined with sufficient accuracy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the largest earthquake of the day today, September 11th, 2024. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.